Thank you. Uh, President Hu, first off, my colleague uh, asked you a question about human rights, which you did not answer. I was wondering if we could get an answer to that question. And then also on Capitol Hill, uh, Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid, House Speaker John Boehner are not attending tonight's state dinner. Many on Capitol Hill see China as an economic threat. What can you do to allay their fears? Uh First, I would like to clarify, because of the technical translation and interpretation problem, I did not hear the question about the human rights. What I know was that he was asking a question directed at President Obama. As you raised this question, and I heard the question properly, certainly I'm in a position to answer that question. President Obama and I already met for eight times. Each time we met, we had an in-depth exchange of views in a candid manner on issues of shared interest and on issues to our each other's concern. And on the issues we have covered, we also discussed human rights. China is always committed to the protection and promotion of human rights. And in the course of human rights, China has also made enormous progress recognized widely in the world. China recognizes and also respects the universality of human rights. And at the same time, we do believe that uh, we also need to take into account the different national circumstances when it comes to the universal value of human rights. China is a developing country with a huge population and also a developing country in a crucial stage of reform. In this context, China still faces many challenges in economic and social development, and a lot still needs to be done in China in terms of human rights. We will continue to improve people's lives of the Chinese people, and we will continue our efforts to promote democracy and the rule of law in our country. At the same time, we are also willing to continue to have exchanges and dialogue with other countries in, the, in terms of human rights, and we are, also going to, we are also willing to learn from each other in terms of the good practices. <laughs> As President Obama rightly put it just now, 
Though there are disagreements between China and the United States on the issue of human rights, China is willing to engage in dialogue and exchanges with the United States on the basis of mutual respect and the principle of non-interference in each other's internal affairs. In this way, we will be able to further increase our mutual understanding, reduce our disagreements, and expand our common ground. As for the latter question about the attendance of the state dinner by some Congress people, as to uh, who will attend and who will not attend, and for what reasons, I think President Obama is certainly in a better position to answer that question. Is that the question you want to pose to me, Hans? <laughs> you get you get one. 